Oh, my shoulder just popped. Well, that's a fantastic way to start the live. Wow. I'm falling apart slowly. I'm decaying. It's great. Hi. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever, whatever time it is where you are. Yes, yo. Alexa and Niba. I can't tell if the lighting's just bad or if I did a really bad job concealing my dark circles. Cause your girl don't sleep. I slept a little bit last night for the first time in forever, but like, wasn't enough. <sighs> Shello. I finally caught a live. Hello, welcome to the live. Um, did I eat anything today? I have not eaten yet actually because it is, <gasps> What time is, oh my hip just popped. Um, it is currently 117. 117. This is my leg, by the way. Uh, yes. Once I have a weird bruise on my leg. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know if you can see, but eh, it did, it did. Do y'all see this bruise? I don't know how it happened. I woke up and I was just like, I feel like we all just randomly wake up and we have bruises and it's just like, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cut night Joe. But, and so I said, geez, yeah, I know. It's like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not even like dancing or anything right now. So I'm like, how did this happen? I'm like barely doing anything with like physical stuff. So I'm like, It'll, make it make sense, please. Make it make sense. But. It be them spirits. Time to sage the house again. Time to sage the house. By the way, loving the hair. Thank you. I showered yesterday. <laughs> and I didn't straighten it. Because, like, my hair naturally, even though it's damaged as heck, this is what my natural hair looks like. It's not, like, pin straight. Nobody in my family has, like, pin straight hair. But, um, if I were a cat, I'd spend all my night lives with you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alexa360 is so entertaining. I'm glad you guys like the vlog. We have some stuff coming up. I don't know when certain things are going to go up, but there's things in the works. So, you should try curling. I... I like curling my hair, but we do like waves a lot, so I like keeping it straight every now and then, because it looks longer when it's straight. Let's see. Alexa, how are you? I'm pretty fantastic, aside from my severely horrible sleep schedule. I'm great. I'm great. I've got fruit and vegetables, vet, 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 vegetables in the fridge. I'm living my best life. I started watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine after getting peer pressured by my friends. So, good show. I love Andy Samberg. <laughs> Rosa and Gina are my favorite characters. Um, let's see. My exams ain't important. Alexa is. No, your exams are important. Please, y'all. Y'all. Uh, one second. I don't think my put this in order today. Hi. No, this song is sad. I don't want to deal with sad music today, please. I am not in the mood. Not in the mood. This song is not sad. Um, let's see. Tam. Tam. Um, let's see. Sorry if you hear water noises in the background. Roommate is washing some stuff. Sorry. Um, yes, the 9 9. Yes. Um, next comeback. It's, it's, it's happening. It's happening. I got some details now. I know some things. I know some things. But y'all just gonna have to be a little patient with us. There's, there's a lot of things going on on our side. A lot of things going on. So a little bit of patience, please. But sorry, I gotta crack my neck. I apologize every time in case this is like weirdly triggering to someone. But. Okay, I, no sleep, neck bad, spine bad, body hate me, but that's okay. Um, 
let's see. Um, do I watch anime? I do. But, like, I haven't watched anything super recent. I've been meaning to start Demon Slayer, but I haven't um, started it yet. Alexa, we need a light stick. I mean, I, I know. I know. We, I, eh, trust me. I, I, I've been asking about light stick things. It's in the plans. We have plans to release one. I, I don't know when or what it would be. But trust me, I've seen like so many of y'all's fan design ones on Twitter. So I, 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 I bookmark some of my faves. I, I might download some of the images of my faves. But you're dying your hair purple tomorrow? Noise. Are you going like dark violet or like lilac or like straight up like bright purple? Like Alexa, can you see your nails? They're a little outgrown right now, but I need to cut them soon, actually. Well, I could just get the gels removed. My natural nails are pretty long. Yeah. If you just, like, take off the first, like, centimeter of the nail, not even centimeter, like, half a centimeter of the nail, it's my natural nail length, but... Psyche, I've heard of that one, but I haven't watched Psyche yet. Hmm. I've seen the character designs, and I'm like... Yes? No, because yesterday I went to this one anime store that's in um, Hongdae, but there was this giant line for something, and I didn't know what, and I think it was for that show. There was some event going on or something, and I just kind of stood outside just like, what goes on? I don't know, but your Wi-Fi isn't working? I'm sorry. For a second I thought you wrote your wife isn't working, and I'm like... So, <laughs> she doesn't have to work, she doesn't want to have to work. Um, let's see, Bessie, I consider you my comfort streamer. Thank you, thank you. I, I enjoy knowing that I am people's comfort because I take comfort into other people. So it's nice knowing that I'm comfort for other people. That didn't make any coherent sense, but in my brain it did. In my brain it did. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. No, y'all, of course, I've watched Brotherhood, of course. Like, I started with the normal Full Metal Alchemist, and then I heard about Brotherhood, and I was like, that's the one that's accurate to the manga, so I'm gonna watch that. And to this day, Envy is still my favorite character. Yeah. But, um, my favorite anime is Death Note. If you couldn't tell by my Friday the 13th shirt, I like horror and dark and macabre and morbid things. So, apple juice or orange juice? I prefer apple juice personally. I'm not really big on like acidic things, like acidic fruits, unless it's like pineapple or like tomatoes. Tomatoes are fruit. Don't say anything. Tomatoes are fruit. <laughs> Let's see. No, I haven't watched JoJo. I know it's like one of the cornerstone staple animes, but I haven't watched it yet. I've been meaning to try to, but the thing is, it's just not to knock the story or the artist themselves, but it's not my kind of art aesthetic. So if I don't like the, the art style of an anime, I don't watch it because it's difficult for me to watch, if that makes sense. Promise Neverland. I've heard a lot about that, actually, from one of our former staff members. She really enjoyed uh, the manga. Apparently, it's really morbid, so I'm... I am intrigued. I am intrigued. Also, please forgive the fact that my throat is like so scratchy. I was like outside all day yesterday and the pollution was not the greatest because it rained and then that means all the dirt from the ground starts evaporating up and it's like meh. But My Hero Academia, I watched like six episodes. It's good. I like the animation style. I just haven't taken the time to get into it yet. But um Left history for Alexa, no regrets. I hope you don't mean the school class history. Maybe you were watching a music video of the old, now unfortunately disbanded as Humbai Name Group history. I hope that's what you meant. Because if you left a class for me, that's bad. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please. Bestie, do you eat water? I mean, when it comes to beverages, 
I suppose the proper verb is to drink, but then again, if you put like, I don't know, pretzels in a cup, you could technically drink that, but I don't. I mean, yes, I suppose you eat water because you are ingesting it. And I'm not gonna look up what the Webster definition of eat is, but I mean, I guess, I guess, cause in Korean, like, if you ask someone if they, uh, like, drank, like, alcohol or something, you ask, like, because the verb for drink in Korean is mashida, but then the verb for eat is mokta. And you ask, like, sur is alcohol, so, like, sur mogosa, like, did you eat alcohol? So, I guess, I don't know, I, I'm not gonna think today. My brain, off, it is Sunday, please, no think. Um... Do I like school? I mean, I, I'm i not someone that like hated school. I mean, you know, I tried my best in my classes and my GPA stayed at like a 3.75 for the most part. I don't think I ever had like a 4.0 once I got into high school, but like middle school, yeah. But high school, I think it was like at a 3.8 or 3.75 most of the time. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed school. I didn't enjoy getting bullied, but like, it is what it is, I guess. Just do your do your best in school. Do your best in school. Favorite horror movie? Ooh. Um, that's a good question, actually. I don't think I've ever tried to rack my brain around that. Um, favorite horror movie? Do I have a go-to horror movie? I don't know. Um. I don't know. I mean, my favorite types of horror movies, I'll just go with that instead. I like zombie horror movies or like exorcism movies. So if there's a good one in either category, I'll probably watch it. But Favorite food, bestie. Um... Let's see. Um, spaghetti? Spaghetti? Waffles or chicken? But what about chicken wa with waffles, though? Have y'all ever had chicken with waffles? Uh, 가장 좋아하는 디저트? 저희 가장 좋아하는 디저트는 바로 아이스크림입니다. 근데 저는 우유. 알레르기 있어가지고 근데 아직은 <laughs> 아이스크림 너무 좋아해요. So yeah, favorite dessert is ice cream, I guess. Even though I've got a mad lactose allergy, but I like suffering. At the end of the day, why are we here? Only to suffer. I don't know. But um, hi, pretty Alexa. Thank you. No, no. Stop. Stop. Um. My dad thinks we are dating because of how I talk about you. I mean, how does he know we're not? How does he know we're not? <laughs> don't, you don't have to hide it, bestie. Like, <laughs> let's see. Am I mixed? Yes, I am mixed race. I am Korean on my mom's side. I am white. I don't really know. I've been saying Russian my whole life because that's just the major ethnic group that I was told, but we're probably also like Polish check i don't i don't i don't really know what the fancy caucasian concoction is on my dad's side but half white half korean yes but um you found the perfect boy, but don't know how to talk to him. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, um, I love hearing you guys' stories. It just, I'm living through you guys. It makes me happy. Oh, ice cream is vanilla, algae, or mint choco. I'm mint choco there. Um, okay, so, are you like friends with him? 
like, or is he just like a classmate? Or is he like a neighborhood friend? Is he a childhood friend? Give me the details, baby. I want to know. I want to know. Let's see, you dyed your hair blue, but it looks black. Oh, so it's like dark blue then. Maybe if you just like shampoo it a lot, maybe it might lighten up, but maybe it would turn green. Cause when blue fades, I don't know, tricky. Do I like Megan the Stallion? Of course I do. Oh my gosh, a huge congrats to her and I believe Beyonce because they won for uh, Sad the Savage remix. But also, are we going to talk about the WAP stage that Cardi and Megan had? Because one, the outfit design was incredible. Cardi looks so good with the, like, the short pink hair and like the, like the money shoe and the, oh, it was just, oh, it was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Women. <laughs> But let's see. Um, oh, because she's a Megan stan. Of course. Of course. Out of the newer generation of artists that have become really popular, I really respect people like Megan. And because, you know, she's from Houston. I'm from Oklahoma. So I'm like, yeah, let's go, new generation artists. But let's see. Bestie, how do we get a job after being fired? Hmm. I mean, were you fired because you couldn't show up? Or were you fired because of work ethic? There's, there's a few layers to this, my friend. I would need to know more details. But speaking of details, hello? Are we gonna talk about you finding the perfect boy? Hello? Hello? Um, my hair's so fluffy. Oof. Do I respect Canadians? I work with Lex from Big Flow from Toronto. Of course I have to respect Canadians. I respect Canadians, yeah. Let's see, um... Let's see, you started uni last week. Ooh, best of luck. You'll do fine. I'll be praying over you. Again, university is just a more complicated version of high school. You'll be fine, I promise. But do I like Bad Bunny? Of course I love Bad Bunny. Let's see. He's an upperclassman and you've talked two times over text. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, so only two times? Only two times. Oh, someone said you're half Korean, half mine. Ooh, okay. <laughs> mm, okay. Anyways, so only two times over text. Is he like an older sibling's friend or like a different friend's friend? How did you get to know each other? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you today. Also, I gave myself whiplash recently, so <laughs> my neck is not the nicest to me right now. Alexa, I found this girl a lot, and she likes girls, too. Well, I mean, if you like her, then go for it. If you know that y'all share the same orientation, then, I mean, go for it. Go for it. And let me know if y'all wind up dating. Like, congrats for y'all in advance. Um, let's see. Am I listening to Twice? Yes, I am listening to Twice for Minion. My playlist is on random, though, so this might go from Twice to, like, Slipknot? I don't really know. But, um... Have you been to Missouri, Bessie? Yes, actually! When I was younger, my family used to... Ah, oh, my ankle. My family used to take, uh, like, spring... Spring... Spring break? Spring break, yes. Spring break vacations to Branson a lot. Yes. Hi to the rowing team. Hello. Um... You saw him at lunch and his younger sister's in your grade. Okay. Well, you got his number. That is a major step. I, I'm always been like the shy person. Like whenever I like someone, I am always too shy to like get their number or whatever. But then again, that hasn't been a rare occasion for me because feelings are difficult. Who needs them? But, um, hmm. Okay. Well, well, I mean, I don't know. Start with small talk and, you know, ask about their interests and then, you know, Maybe if y'all share the same interest, you could go on a conversation on that. And if you're brave enough later, like maybe ask to call. Because I feel like calls are a bit more intimate than just like a text message. Because you can actually hear the other person's voice. But I don't know. I'm just here trying to be like a relationship coach because it's fun for me. So. Let's see. If you could go anywhere, 
Where would you go for me? Dominican Republic? I mean, why not go to the Dominican Republic? Why not? I literally want to go so many places, but, you know, the, pan the, the current panini that we are in, so. Because of the current pandemic, we can't do anything. Gosh, I've gotten in that habit, because all of my friends, they will replace the word pandemic with just other P words, and I'm like, mm, now I'm doing it. <laughs> That's when you hang out with the babies too much. Um, okay, relationship coach, that's what I'm here for. Let me unplug my iPad though, because I wanna, uh, well, you know what? It's the Congos, I'll leave it. But what, what else is on my playlist though? Hold up. Ugh. I only had it plugged in because it was dying before I started the live. Let me see what the playlist is though. Oh, I mean, that's... Eh, it's not bad. I'll change things if I need to change things. My, whatever. Um, also from Oklahoma, will you be the Megan to my stallion? <laughs> um, what should I name my bird? Um, what color is it? What color is it? Favorite Mon Laferte song is either Tormente or Tu Falta de Querer. Favorite like Brazilian funk song? Oh man, I don't know. And the thing is, whenever I used to train in like Afrobeats and dance hall, we would have like playlists playing and we would just go over moves to that, but I never found out like half the names of the songs. But, I, and I know that the lyrics to uh, Abusadamente are like degrading and therefore not good. But the beat itself, though, I, I really like the sound of that song, not the subject matter, but the sound of the song, Abusadamente. Yeah, but not the lyrics, because we respect women in this day and age, so. But. Let's see. Um, bestie, favorite animal? I love pandas. I love chinchillas I like I like fluffy things but then I also like uh, sphinx cats I like hairless cats because I said this before but they're like little hairless demons and I'm like they're just I want one <laughs> oh Annie's or Wetzel's pretzels um I've had both but in the mall I used to work at there was a auntie Annie's kiosk and that's where I always went to my break so auntie Annie's yeah oh. yes yeah but um, definitely that. Let's see. Oh, your ex tried texting you? That's a no for me. That is a no for me. Uh, I mean, especially if y'all broke up on bad terms. Like, mm, I don't know, exes, that's a, that's a heavy subject. But, mm, let's see. Block the number maybe, especially if you don't wanna hear from them. Block the contact. Um, Cause I mean, I do have some friends that I know that they're like somehow friends with their exes afterwards, which means, you know, they didn't break up on bad terms, which is, you know, very admirable. But like, exes. So, you got asked out, should you or shouldn't you go? Well, there's many layers to this one as well because pandemic. Uh, I hope the person that asked you out is good hygiene. They wear their masks, they wash their hands. If you're other going out, I hope that it's, you know, in a facility or area with not too many people, uh, that all of the proper precautions are being taken. Um, because in my mind, that's what I care about first. I'm like, hmm. But I mean, no, I mean, if this person that asks you out seems like a decent human being and you know they're gonna respect you, your boundaries and everything, then yeah, why not? Go out with them. My cousin likes you, he's a boy. Well, hello to your cousin. I mean, I don't really care who you are. You're free to like me if you do. You're also free to not like me. It's, you, you, no one has to like me. No one's obliged to like me. But, hi to your cousin, I guess. Um, it's 12.38 a.m. Should you go to sleep? Go to sleep. Please, go to sleep. Because I can't sleep, so you just sleep for me. So sleep um someone said can i get a good night good night good night 
Yes, Melanie Martinez. I saw that she's been doing some stuff recently. I've been very out of the loop with her ever since her uh, controversy arose. I kind of hopped off the train, but I had her music downloaded. I really did like this album, though. But I don't really know what she's doing lately, but, you know, I hope everything's good. Um... How do you buy your girl crush all the Squishmallows? Okay, all my friends back home have started collecting Squishmallows. And like on their TikToks, they've made like days of like hunting for different ones. I don't know. I don't think we have those in Korea. Then again, I haven't looked, but I don't think it's a thing here or else I feel like it would be hyped up already. But, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, you know, your girl crush, you should invite her to come with you. To go squishmallow hunting. It's just an idea. But, yeah. Oh, the controversy was false? Ooh. Because I'm, I'm not one to take the, that subject of things lightly. Like, those things truly concern me and make me have a lot of feelings about things. But it's just like, okay, so it was false. Okay, well then I guess we're back on the support Melanie train? Yes? Okay. Um, OMG, I missed you. I missed you guys too. That's why I do these lives. Hey, Bessie, your hands cold. Let me hold them for you. Fine. Do it, coward. <laughs> Batgirl or Supergirl? Oh, I was talking to my friend yesterday about this, but honestly, for me, in the DC universe, I really like the, the immediate Batman universe. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, the Superman universe or, like, the, the Wonder Woman universe or anything, but the Batman universe, like, directly, that's the only universe I really, really like. So I'm gonna go with Batgirl. But, um... Spider-Man or Iron Man? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Let's see. Do I have a dog? Not in Korea, but back home in America, I do. He is a mix of a Yorkie and a Dachshund. He's basically like a long, scruffy boy. Are you from Korea? I think you're my soulmate. Ha! You're so funny. You are so funny. <laughs> today's TMI. Um, today's TMI. I mean, technically because today started at midnight last night, uh, so I was, <laughs> I was like uh, sending video messages to one of my friends back home. So in my friend group, in my friend group here, one of our friends always does the thing, and so the rest of us pick it up. <laughs> and so I'll be like looking on my social media, and then I'll see something, and I'm like, but then I'm like, no, Alex, don't do that. <laughs> Wow, that was just a very embarrassing confession, but... So that's my team and I, I can't stop doing the... That. <laughs> I don't even think about it, it just happens, and I'm like... Is this really what we've come to at this point? Is this really where my life is at? Ooh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you from Star Wars? Because Yoda, only one I need. Haha! <laughs> so funny, you are. Let's see, do you like cats? I love cats. Cats are also basically my favorite animal in general. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Yes, I've watched it. And I really liked it. So, favorite Marvel character is Spider-Man, but also Black Cat, Felicia Hardy. I really love Black Cat. Just the Spider-Man villains, I just, I love the whole Spider-Man verse, like the whole Spider-Man universe. But, Black Cat's another one for me. I do have white hair right now. No, it needs to tone a bit more, but I, I do have white hair. Um, hi, Sabi? Sabi? Hello. Fruits Basket! Yes! Oh my gosh, so my first anime ever, my first anime ever was Fruits Basket. And when I first watched it, 
uh, I was Team Yuki all the way because he pretty and I like the pretty boys. So I was like Yuki, but then I watched it again and I was like, wait, <laughs> Kyo, my boy Kyo, what's good? But then thinking about it now, I'm like, no, Hatsuharu, Haru, cowboy, cowman, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. So, but also Rin. Rin, I think she was the, the horse in the Zodiac. Really pretty character, so I was like, but Haru. You drew the Furby? You drew the Furby? Wait, wait, wait. Can you like tag me on, tag me in on Twitter with it, please, after this so I can see it? <laughs> Why am I excited for this? Um, have I eaten good food lately? Uh, let's see. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday I had a really nice burger with some fries with a good friend. Um, a few days before. I'm craving Indian food again. Hold on. No, because the other day I had a poke bowl. But that's because we were gonna, I was at the company and we were gonna order in Indian food from this really good place. But then... For some reason, it wasn't showing up in the app, so it's like, okay, what about Poke Bowl? So, but I think Indian food. One second, because I'm supposed to be meeting like one of my ummies for food after this. Let me text her real quick and ask if she's down for Indian food because low key, I'm craving some of that Vindaloo. Um, are you down for oh, four? I can't spell. Spelling difficult. That is too many O's. There we go. Boop. Okay. Do I like tattoos? Yes. I have a list of ones that I want to get. But, um, I mean, y'all know, like, on broadcasting shows, you have to always cover them and everything, unless it's, like, a other... How do I phrase this? I don't know. But, uh, you have to cover them. So if I did wind up getting any, they would have to be either non-visible or like easily coverable and I would have to ask company permission for visible ones that's the thing like I'm pretty sure if I got ones that aren't seen would not be a problem but if I wanted one like here or like on my leg I would have to ask company permission first but I want so many I have a list I have a list but are you scared to get a tattoo no Y'all, I have so many piercings. Nothing hurts me. I am numb to pain. Not emotionally, but physically. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not really too scared about it, so. Let's see. Bestie, let's get tattoos together. Haha, ha. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. No, because actually one of my like close friends back home, when I debuted, she got my AI Trooper logo actually tattooed on her. So I was like, sometimes tattoo ink be thicker than blood. But no, but no, I was like, Cause she has like all these really cool tattoos. She has like a Dragon Ball Z one. She has Pokemon ones. She has all these really cool tattoos. And like, I'm so honored that she got my little AI Trooper thing tattooed. Oh, ah! you know who you are. I love you and I miss you. Ah! But yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. Love from Saudi Arabia. Hello to Saudi Arabia. Spoiler for my comeback. Mm. Let's see. Definitely not what you what you expect. That's that's very vague, but I really don't know what else to tell you guys. It's really not what you're gonna expect. That's the thing. It's not what you're gonna expect, and I I, I don't know like a hundred percent of the de the details, but from what I do know. I feel like I'm going to be very in my element. Like I am, I'm very excited for this one. Very excited for this one. Yeah. But uh, 
No, it is not a ballad. I will say that it is not a ballad. I don't think we're ever gonna have a comeback that is a ballad, so to say, because I am a performance-based idol, but there might be ballad like B-sides on the track, that's the thing, because I'm pretty sure that whenever the next album gets released, Orimania Never Let You Go is gonna be on that album, so... I don't know. B-sides are always an option, but I don't think we're ever gonna have a comeback that's like strictly a ballad. This song is sad, but cute, so I'm gonna let it play. Um... Oh, I gotta answer my friend, they just texted me back. Hello? About food? Yes? Food? Um... Uh... Sorry guys, one second. Gotta tell my friend that I am on the live, so... Listen to Rolling- Rolling Courts! Yeah, yeah, I've heard about them, they're actually really cool. They're really, really cool. I major respect to them. They're really cool. Rolling Quartz. Um, black haired Alexa. That's the thing. Like, I would want to go dark again, but like, y'all, I mean, you'll see my roots. My hair is naturally very dark, but like, I don't think you guys understand. I've had this shade of hair since I debuted. Like, cause that's the thing. After every color we did for comebacks, it would always fade. And then we would bleach it back to this. It is so hard to get your hair this light and maintain it. So if I were to like dye it black, oh, I don't know. I think we might just start investing in like really good lace front wigs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with hair. But, oh, oh, your friend relapsed recently. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um. Um, I mean, if she relapsed, then clearly something's affecting her. I know that whenever people are going through a very hard time, sometimes they don't want to talk to people, sometimes they isolate themselves. Like, even if you reach out to them, they won't answer the messages. Maybe they might read them, but they won't respond, or in some cases, maybe they won't even read them. But, I mean, just don't be overbearing, I suppose. Like, your friend clearly knows that you love them and you care about them but don't be overbearing. Mm. I don't recommend calling unless you don't hear back from her for like a few days because you know, you will be worried. But maybe just shoot her a message every day. Just like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about you. Like, you know, I'm sending good vibes your way or if you're religious, I'm praying for you. You know, just remind them that you are there for them should they decide to reach out for help. That's the thing. Because not everybody wants to reach out when they're hurting. But uh, I'll be praying over your situation and for your friend, so. Yes. Um, my MBTI, I'm ENFPT. Oh, you broke up because they were toxic. Block the number! Block the number! Your ex doesn't deserve any place in your life. No, none of that. No toxicity. No, mm -mm. no. You, you, your life is a garden and you will cultivate only beautiful flowers. And if there is a weed, you are gonna pick it out from the roots and trash it. If you only pick it out from the stem, the roots are still there. You gotta get rid of it. Get rid of it. Do you think 14 is too young to come out? I mean, as long as you feel like you were in a safe environment and you have truly come to terms with who you are, then no, I don't think there's too young a time at all to come out for that, honestly. But as long as you know that you are safe and you feel like this is something you need to do, then go ahead. Just never feel rushed to come out. It's not anybody else's decision but yours. So, let's see, my ankle. I swear on God, every time I feel like my ankle's getting better, it's not, and I'm just like, please, I would like to dance soon. Please, why do you do this to me? Um, what do I think about? What do I think about? What does what does Alexa think about? Alexa thinks about many things. There's there's a lot of thoughts that live in my head. Not all good. Not all good. But you know, it's just about managing those thoughts. And you know, at the end of the day, the positive things in my life outweigh the negative, which is something I'm eternally grateful for. So you know, whenever 
bad things happen or whenever my brain starts to go to bad places, I, I, I gotta take a second and think to myself about all the good things in my life. And you guys are one of them. So, yeah, I think about a lot of things. Trust me, there's, there's a lot going on in my brain and sometimes I wish I didn't have the thoughts that I did, but it is what it is. Um, Bessie, who's your role model, by the way? Love, you from Indonesia. Well, hello to Indonesia. Hello to Indonesia. Let's see. Um, let's see, role model. I don't think I have just one person, so to say, but I don't know. If we're going to talk about career-wise, um, Taemin, Sambaynim is a big one. Taemin from Shiny. Uh, Min. So my name from Miss A. Min's another big one for me. Um, of course, Yokshi Hyuna Sunbae Niam. Hyuna Sunbae Niam, she's definitely my long term. I would give anything to just have like a crumb of what she has. So, um, I mean, there's there's a bunch of others. There's a bunch of others, but those are, I guess, the three main ones for me. Um, let's see. Love you so much. Love you too. Um, I'm 14 and taller than you. Well, most people are taller than me. <laughs> no, because like my friend, y'all know Denise. She's 2001 and she is taller than I am. All of my friends that are like, even like, I even have a friend who's like 99 and she's, well, no, we're actually similar in height. She and I are similar in height. But I think she's still taller than me. But regardless, everybody in my friend group is taller than me. You hate being tall though? Don't hate it, hate's a very strong word. You can sometimes dislike being tall. I sometimes dislike being short, but it doesn't mean that there aren't good things about it, I guess. T-shirt, where's it from? This is from Hmm, Hmm and Hmm, uh, H&M, but I got it like a long time ago, so. Hola hermosa, hola. Como esta usted? Um, let's see. Alexa, be my girlfriend. Sure. I think this year I'm not gonna take any wife propositions, no spouse propositions, but girlfriend, sure. Um, let's see. Hi, Alexa. I'm Jennifer. Hello. Um, let's see. I feel you, bestie. Short things. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's pros and cons. I mean, at the end of the day, we all want what we don't have. People with straight hair want curly hair. People with curly hair want straight hair. People that are short want to be tall. People that are tall want to be short. People that are ghostly pale sometimes wish they had just a bit of melanin. So, I mean, uh but have you ever considered being goth as a kid? Listen, listen, I wanted to be goth so bad, but I was never able to express it, unfortunately, until I went to college. But no, I really do. I, I absolutely love the goth aesthetic, goth aesthetic. Uh, for the longest time, I just wanted to live in the goth emo scene for so long, but never did. Mm. Let's see. Um, I know you had an MCR phase, Alexa. Of course you did. Of course you had an MCR phase. I actually asked my staff the other day. I asked them if on September 12th, because I'm pretty sure that is the correct date, if we could release a cover of Welcome to the Black Parade. And they said, yes. I just have to keep reminding them. But, uh, MCR. But, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Fatima. Hello. My favorite crystal? Oh, um, I have very many. I have very many. Um, I don't know. I've always loved amethysts. Always loved amethysts, but, you know, rose quartz is always good. Um, I don't know. I typically carry that, those two with me along with lapis. Lazuli. Um, I think I carry Moonstone with me. I don't remember. I have, I have a little bag of things that I carry with me, but yeah. My Zodiac sign, uh, my Zodiac 
zodiac sign is rat, but my like astrology sign is Sagittarius. You speak Spanish, bestie? Un poco, un poco. Like when I was younger, like uh, when I was like three years old until I was about 13, I took Spanish classes and we had a lot of like Hispanic and like Latin, Lat Lat Latin ex, Latino, Latina friends. Um, so I spoke Spanish quite a bit as a kid, but I was never fluent, but I understand a lot of it though. Let's see, be your girlfriend for five seconds. Why only five seconds? Why not forever? Why not forever? Espanol, Espanol, yes. Um, let's see. You have school tomorrow, but you haven't, you aren't doing anything? I'm sorry, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate, sorry. Um. Um, will you be your first girlfriend? Will I be your first girlfriend? The honor is mine. The honor is mine. How can you be more extroverted? Um, good question. I don't, I don't know what the exact answer is to this because I know that everyone has their own thing with being social. I know social anxiety is a thing. Haha, -ha. even extroverts have it, trust me. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, train yourself to be more comfortable with eye contact, first of all, because neighbors, what are you doing and why? Very much. Uh, I like this song, okay, sure. Um, I feel like the more comfortable you can get talking to someone and looking them in the eye and keeping eye contact, that'll get you more comfortable with talking to other people in general, because eye contact's a really big thing. When I talk to people, I make eye contact directly, for the most part, so. Practice eye contact first, and then, mm, I don't know, practice eye contact first. Am I an extrovert or an introvert? I am extroverted in my friend, friend group, friend group. Oh, no way, there. I think we have the same MBTI, I don't remember. Oh, yes, I think we do. Let me look on kprofiles.com because that always has the answers, doesn't it? Hold on. No, because in my immediate friend group here, for the longest time, I was the only extrovert that we had, but now we have another extrovert, and I don't remember if they have the same MBTI as me. I think they do. I think we talked about this, and they were like, oh yeah, I'm ENFP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're both ENFP, right? Okay. But, um, yeah, there's two extroverts in our friend group everyone else are tiny little introvert babies and it's like my children but uh yeah <laughs> not gay profiles no see that's the thing anytime anybody in our friend group we forget something or like we want to like tease someone about something it's like hey let's look at their k profiles <laughs> oh gosh but Sometimes it's also good because it's like, if we have like a new friend come on our friend group and maybe it's close to their birthday, we don't know. Just look on gayprofiles.com. <laughs> so. Um, hi, Asher. Hello. Uh, my Twitter is now dating Alexa. As it should be. Do I like gas station pickles? Um, I think... Yeah, I mean, I've had ones at movie theaters, but those are typically similar to the ones you get at gas stations. I like pickles. I don't like the bread and butter ones, so I don't like sweet pickles. I like the the salty, vinegary ones, like dill pickles. Mm. Korea doesn't really have dill pickles, which is sad. Like, the bread and butter ones are the thing here. Only at certain restaurants you go to for, like, burgers and stuff, they have the dill ones, but it's like... I would like those, please. I need sodium. But... Yeah. So you're an ENFP, but you're more of an introvert. Well, the thing is with me, I remember I took the test in like high school. It was like a thing I had to take in high school because you had like career, career path quizzes or whatever. I don't remember high school. Meh. 
but I had to take the MBTI test. And I've been ENFPT my whole life. Like the multiple times I've taken it, I've stayed ENFPT. But um, when I took it in high school, I was like 84% extrovert and only like 16% introvert. But now, as I've gotten older, I'm like 56% extrovert, 44% introvert. So I'm almost like, like I'm almost right in the middle of things. So I don't know, give me another year or two, I might be an introvert by then because life is slowly killing me from the outside. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Have I thought about streaming on Twitch? Um, I've gotten this question a lot actually. Uh, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Some of my friends that are streamers uh, have asked me to like go on the channel and I'm like, ah, okay, it hasn't happened yet though. We need to discuss this and make this happen. Mental reminder to myself. But uh, would I open my own Twitch channel stream? Maybe. Um, ideally, I would like to make my room prettier, make it more aesthetic, but I might be moving like in a few months. So once I know that, if I like finally move, I could decorate my room the way I want it to be, then maybe I might start Twitch streaming, but I don't know. Should you cook ramyeon or make donuts? You can make donuts. Make some donuts. Make some donuts, please. You have INFP to IS, TFP, INFJ. Ooh, that's quite a transition. Let's see. How's adapting moving to Korea? Um, I mean, it's been about three and a half years now for me. So, I mean, when I first came here, the biggest challenge, of course, was the language. Because even though my mom is Korean, I did not grow up speaking it. Because, as you all know, she was adopted when she was five. So, you know, I only grew up speaking English. Um, so, I mean, the language. And then when I first got here, also, figuring out transportation. Because I got lost so much when I came here. Like, and I didn't, like, there are places that sound very similar in Korean, like, Shincheon, so it's like, Shincheong, and then there's like, Sangsu, and then there's Songsu, and like, if you accidentally tell the taxi driver something, and you think they're saying what you said, but they're saying the opposite one, you go the wrong direction, so it's like, oh, and then with subways, I would always get off on the wrong stop, or I would go the opposite direction, so that was the most confusing thing, but like now that I've lived here and I I know the language now and I know my way around, no problem, no problem. The only thing that scares me a little bit is like um, there's like a lot of like cell phone companies here, and so sometimes they'll have you like uh, they'll approach you really kindly and ask you to like uh, put a sticker on a chart. But sometimes like when I'm in a rush and they're approaching me, I feel so bad. But I'm like, please, please help me now. I just gotta run past them. But yeah. Cause I got a bit of social anxiety, so it's like when people come at me when I'm not ready, I'm like, <laughs> but they're always very kind about it, so no problems there. But I'm used to it now, I'm used to it. Let's see. Um, which K-pop group do I belong to? Um, I belong to Alexa. Um, if you guys don't know about the group Alexa, I am the leader. I am the main dancer. I am the main vocalist. I am the main rapper. I'm kind of the visual, I don't know, somebody else is in charge of that one, but, um, I'm also the magne, but I'm also the oldest. Oh, I do love this one, but sorry, not right now, Barbara. Oh, Yo Yo by Unique? That is an old song, but it's good. Let's see. I love that group! Thanks, guys. I, I think the group's pretty cool, too. I, I'd say all of us, all of our members get along pretty well. We, we get along pretty well. There's really no fights. Well, actually, sometimes my one Alexis brain likes to fight with the other Alexis brain, but I mean, it's other than that, it's all good. But, um, <laughs> y'all never heard of the group Alexa? That's amazing. Um, let's see. Was there a lot of culture shock? Um, not so much culture shock, but you know, I, I came from America, speaking English my whole life. There's no formal English, that's the thing. But in Korean, there's formal speak and then there's informal speak, which is chondaemal and panmai. So like among friends or like older to younger, you would use panmai. So like, uh, I don't know, if you're telling someone to bring something, it's like, oh, kugo kajowa. 
so like bring that but like if it's like to someone older oh cool like there's different ways to say things to different people and that confused me for the longest time because I'm not good at panmar. I'm not good at informal speech because I never use it because like I never speak it that's the thing I text it because I have like uh, younger friends like Hubei's and like Tongteng and everything I text them in panmar, but speaking it I don't have much practice with that because I only speak in Jonemar to my staff and to everyone else around me. So it's like, <sighs> like I will speak to younger kids in like formal speak and they're like, you don't have to speak formally to me. And I'm like, right. <laughs> but good night, Ebony. Good night, Ebony. Alexa, could I be your boyfriend? Sure, sure, why not? The comment went by, but I think someone said, do you like butterscotch? Yes, I do. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Um, let's see. Hola, Lizeth. Lizeth? Oh, hello. Hola. Do I like raisinets? Not really. Like, I'm not opposed to them. If I'm correct, those are like the, the chocolate covered raisins. I don't. I'm not really partial to raisins, and I'm not really partial to chocolate, but I don't mind yogurt-covered raisins. For some reason, those are fly. Those fly for me, but, yeah. What fashion style do you usually wear like? I, if I'm going out with friends, I tend to be more on the techwear street style side of things. Um, I don't know, I'm typically always the extra friend. Like, I mean, right now, of course, socializing is difficult, but, like, back... Okay. Um, back whenever we did tend to socialize, like, with bigger groups and everything, I was typically always the extra one that maybe overdressed a little bit for the occasion every time, but I've been that way since I was back in America, even, so I enjoy dressing up and feeling like a woman's, so, yeah. Do you ever procrastinate? And if you don't, how? I am one of the world's worst procrastinators. Oh my gosh. Like, uh, when I was in school even, like if I had homework, sometimes I would wake up and do it at like four in the morning before I had to go into class. Like, don't do as I do. Don't do as I do. But no, I'm a really bad procrastinator actually. But I'm trying to get better. For me, it just depends on the importance of what it is, but, um, you know, like, for school, if it's, like, it was a study guide for an exam coming up, I would do the study guide, like, the date was given to me up until the test. I would work on it till then, just so the knowledge stayed in my head. But if it was, like, I don't know, this is a worksheet for tonight's history chapter, bring it in next Tuesday. I wouldn't do it until the next Monday night or until Tuesday morning. Sometimes I would do homework at lunch. I don't know, but did my grades suffer? No, 3.8 or 3.7 baby. So I don't know, school's different for everybody. I don't know, don't, don't take advice from me. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Oh no, goodbye, your mom caught you staying up late. Go to sleep, baby, you can check the rest of the live later. Apologize to your mama, maybe, but my stomach is growling. Oh, she hungry. Favorite chips flavor, jalapeno. Jalapeno, I think they were called Miss Vicky's? I don't know, but they were like kettle cooked jalapeno chips. I miss good jalapeno chips. Miss Vicky's, yes, yes. Yes! Oh my god, these! These! I miss these so much! Miss Vicky's, please send me some. I will humble the heck out of them. I will humble the heck out of them. Please, Miss Miss Vicky's, some may know. You say, oh. <laughs> Why do I exist? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I miss those. I was never a big barbecue chip person. Like, my mom really liked barbecue chips. It wasn't really ever my thing. 
But it is what it is. At the end of the day, I need to answer my friend. Um, yeah, was. Yeah, well. Hola, Jessica. Hola, Jessica. Any minute. Jessica. Hola. Ever in Hawaii by Maluma? Yes. Yes, we do love Maluma, baby. Maluma, baby. Let's see. All right. Um. Oh, well, that's going to... I'll let that play, sure. Careless Whisper by Seether. Um... See, what do you think of the AI Trooper? I think AI Trooper are the best people in the world, and I am so fortunate to have them in my life supporting me. And I think that we have the potential to grow into an even bigger, happier, healthier family together and make the community a better place. You like jazz? Yes. And I will have you know, just so everyone can tell her the next time she goes live, Denise! Secret number has never seen the B movie. <laughs> Denise has never seen the B movie. It's you, you have to. It's like rite of passage as a human being. You have to see the B movie. If I have to see it, so does everyone else. <laughs> so now we all know. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Hola, Vale. 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 Uh, laser ruffle, ooh. Both, but it depends on the flavor. Uh, with the ruffle ones, I like the sour cream and onion ones. I just really like sodium. Am I like, do I not get enough sodium? I don't know, but both, both. You are small girl. I am also small girl. Can I get a hug? I need a reason to cry things out, go ahead. Cry things out, baby child. It's okay. I am here for you. Crying is healthy. Let's see. May I please be part of your girlfriend collection? Sure. Sure, why not? Um... Oh, it's been an hour already. Okay, um... Let me double check if my friend has answered me. Because I can make this go to... Because it's been in... Because it's currently what time? 2... 2.18? Alright, I can make this go until 2.30. And then I will yeet. Alright, um... No. Hello? Thank you. <sighs> Let's see. Hello, Omni. Hello. You're pretty and I'm cute. Together we are pretty cute. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! Don't look at me. <laughs> um. Do you like Cheetos? Yeah, of course. I like, I like Cheetos Puffs. Cheetos Puffs. What am I going to eat? I just asked my friend if we want to get Indian food, so I think we're going to get Indian food. If y'all ever come to Korea, there's a really good Indian food restaurant in Shinsa, Karuskil specifically. It's called Little India. I go there when I can. It's authentic. It's so good. Ooh, I always get the mutton vindaloo with like garlic naan, and the naan is so big. The naan is like this big. Oh, I'm so excited to bring food. <laughs> Why are my neighbors so loud? Sir, you don't need to yell. My neighbors also have children, and the children are also very loud, but. What you gonna do? But, um. Yes. Oh, I'm Indian. Well, hello. I, I enjoy Indian food. Nothing, even though it's an authentic restaurant, nothing beats eating actual Indian food in India. Oh my gosh. That, ah. Oh. Soon as the pandemic's over, I want to go back because I know that there are so many like Tezzy fans over there. Like nobody really goes to India ever. So I'm like, I want to go back. I've been there three times. I want to go back again. <sighs> like my goal as an artist is I really want to go to places that not many other artists go to. Because I know, trust, I know what it's like to have to travel six hours to go to a different city sometimes. Because, like, nobody ever came to Oklahoma. 
So I would always have to drive to either Austin, Dallas, Houston, anywhere else, which is like a six hour drive sometimes. But yeah, so my goal is to go to places that not many people go. If y'all name certain countries in certain countries, certain countries, certain countries, certain, <gasps> certain cities in certain countries, I will try my hardest to go there whenever touring is possible. But like, I don't really know. Oh, my other friend just texted me back. Uh, okay, friends are gonna clean their house and then we're gonna get food. <sighs> okay, food. Um, let's see, love to Texas, love to Texas. Love to Texas. Mm. Let's see, hello Eve? Hello Eve. Or is it E-V? Because I know people that spell their name like that, but it was E-V, not just Eve. I don't know. Hi Isabella, hello. Hola Roberto, Roberto. Hello. Have you been to Chicago? I did, yes, when I was in show choir. We competed uh, for nationals in, sh in Chicago. We had deep dish pizza when we got there. It was delicious. It was the flavor. Let's see. Uh, hola, Mariana. Hola, Mariana. Please, no one comes to Oregon. Okay, well then, Oregon. And you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? So y'all know I'm friends with uh, Corbin. Corbin? From 28 Laboratory, formerly Corey of 2 k He's from Oregon! <laughs> I swear, I keep meeting people that are like from really obscure places in the US and I'm like, I've never met anybody from there, let alone in the industry. So, yeah. Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? If you don't get the reference, I am very sad. Um, let's see, how can you dance to bomb without dying? Good question. Good question, because when I first had to learn the choreo, I was deceased. Um, just keep doing it. Build up your stamina, or like, um, I don't know. If you work out at home, work on a lot of cardio, because bomb is cardio. Like, whew. like now it's definitely gotten easier, but like every time, I, I every time I did bomb, it's the dance break that starts with the da 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 da. Like that part where you go down the floor and then the leg kick every time I'm like before it's the da 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 every time I get so dead right before there. And so with the last dance break with the da 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 I don't remember I'm choreo at this point, but the last dance break, I'm always just like running on fumes, but I'm good now. You just gotta work up your cardio to it. Work up that endurance. Which comes first, milk or cereal? What if I shake it up and I say the bowl? What if I say the bowl? I'm gonna shake it up and say that. You're drawing yourself a semi-permanent tattoo. What is the design of, bestie? Hello from Malaysia, hello to Malaysia, hello. Let's see. Um, Alexa, thank you for respecting Indian culture. Of course, oh, oh, uh, one of my friends sent me, I think the, the Bole Chudian video is going around again. Guys, that was just, oh, it was just so much fun. And like we, one of the uh, Indian staff that was with us during the tour, she'd come with us to help me get fitted for the, the sari, sar, the sari, I believe that's what it's called. I am so sorry if that is not the name of it. My brain doesn't want to work with me sometimes, but we got fitted for that. I tried on multiple ones, and that one's the one we agreed with. And like, uh, okay, this is an aggressive song. That's aggressive. Okay, but um, yeah, it was just, uh, it was, it was nice. I just uh, appreciation should go where it is deserved. So let's see. I believe after the end of this, song, yeah, at the end of this song, I, I will. Eat. This song is so long. I forgot this song is so long. Hotel California by the Eagles is over six minutes long. I forgot it's that long, wow. So yes, at the end of this song, I go get food. Um, hola, wow, I said hola? Hola, Brendy. Hola, Brendy. Wow, hola, como se llamo? Me llamo is Alessandra. Wow. Um, <laughs> Let's see. So was it something or Chipotle? But here's the thing, I've never had Chipotle. I've never had Chipotle. I've had other like food similar to like what they have at Chipotle. 
but I'm, I've, I've never had Chipotle, so I don't really, I don't, I can't really compare. What is song number eight on my playlist? Um, I mean, this is out, currently out of the order that I've downloaded things recently, so hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Witchy Woman by the Eagles. One of my favorites, actually. But, um, heard you like House Moving Castle, Be My Sophie? Gladly. Let me tone this to be a bit more silver, and I am your Sophie, so. Oh, screenshot time! Why did I get so, woo? Screenshot time, we haven't done screenshot time yet. Yes, okay, so, eh, my leg. Okay, screenshot time. Done. <laughs> um, I gotta go, but I love you. Go peacefully. Have a good day. So, so I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, in Korean, when like you like say goodbye and hello to people, you're basically saying like, like especially when you say goodbye, it's like may you leave with peace or like may peace be with you. So my brain did a weird translate thing there. <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta go. You're so sleepy, but I love you. Sleep well. Sleep well. Yes, tap me on the Furby picture at the end of the live. Thank you. Mwah, I love you. Um, hola, Luna. Hola, Luna. I'm doing a geometric hourglass tattoo. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hola, Carolina. Hola, Carolina. Hi, Nyla. Hi, Nyla. Song recommendations. Um, oh my legs. Hotel California. Well, let me see what's been randomized. Um, I recommend to you. I Up by Cardi B. I recommend uh, a Slumber Party by Ash Nico. Love Ash Nico so much. When is the collab? Ash Nico, please. Um, Diamonds by Megan Thee Stallion with Normani. Love Normani so much. She's my age and she's just like so cool. And I'm like, please, can I be as cool as you? Um, I recommend GUI by Lady Gaga. Old Lady Gaga song, but GUI. Um, what else? Believe by Cher. And one more. One more, one more. Just because it's still good, it never gets old. Don Diddy Don by Don. Because, hey Don, what's going on? So, um, yes, the lyrics to Slumber Party are questionable. If you're a child, you shouldn't listen to it. Meh. But you guys hear everything on TikTok nowadays, so I feel like I don't need to censor warning you. But, let's see. Do I know baby metal? Yes, I do know baby metal. However, I will say when it comes to like uh, like Japanese metal bands, I tend to like male vocalist fronted ones more. But it's weird because it's the opposite in English. I love female fronted metal bands like the, in English. When it comes to Japanese metal bands, I like the male vocal fronted ones. I don't know, but baby metal, mad talented, mad adorable, mad respect to them, so. Let's see. Bessie, I don't know why, but I can't fall in love anymore. Hold on, what? Nani? Hold on, what? Hmm. Well, I mean, feelings are weird. As I said earlier, feelings take too much time, and I'm just not here for them. But, like, I don't know. Feelings are weird. <sighs> Sometimes you might feel like you're stuck. Like, I don't know. You could feel stuck. But, you know, maybe the right person will come along and, like, I don't, imagine your feelings are a rock and it's just sitting there weighing heavy on your chest and you know it's like oh, I don't know what to do with this I, I don't wanna I don't think I can fall in love anymore but you know maybe the right person will come along and push that rock aside I don't know weird weird metaphor but um let's see 
the song is still going. Wow. There's 25 seconds left. Okay. Um. Um. Oh no, not the chunkla joke. No. <laughs> okay, song is over, so I'm gonna wrap this up because I need to eat. Um, you're my everything. No. No, but thank you. you guys are my everything, and I hope you know that. But um, ohebuki. I don't think I said that right, and I apologize for my horrible pronunciation. But ohebuki noof 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 noof. Yes, because I, I I know who you are, but I just feel bad if I mispronounce things. So ohebuki is that correct? If it is incorrect, I apologize because I do not speak Arabic. But I will learn. Anyways, um, yes, I need to go food. Um, I love you all. Love you all. Hopefully, I can do another live here soon. Maybe if I don't do one soon, then you'll probably see me next Sunday because I think I want to start making these things every week. But anyways, I gotta eat. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Drink some water. Eat some food. Get some sleep. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Social distance. Don't go outside. If you do go outside, mask. Um. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Oh my God. Bye.